This is the prep and loading video for the Cryo Fib Sem, and we're using a clipping tool to clip uh, grids just as at the cryos. And with your tweezer, take one of the uh, clip rings and insert that onto the end of the clipping tool and flatten that out. And then using the tabletop, hold it flush and press down on the top a couple of times and you should now have the ring inside the, the tool as such. So these are our tools um, specific to the, the, the FIB SEM loading procedure. We've got our, our, our clipping tools loaded and ready to go. We have our cryo transfer box here made by the workshop. And we have our shuttle, which will take the two clipped grids in here. Um, and then we'll sit inside here. And we have the clipping station, which sits inside here as well. And now we're going to cool this down to liquid nitrogen temperatures and begin clipping. Okay, so now the transfer box is, is cool. Make sure you, you try and minimize contamination at this point. Um, the shuttle goes in as such. Um, and then once you have that in, you can rotate it back for loading. So that it's flat. And we can cool down the loading, uh, or sorry, the, the clipping station. It just fits in over there as such. And now I'm going to get out my uh, grids and get my grid box over here um, for, and ready for clipping. Now we've taken one of our uh, bottom cartridges for the grid and is now in the clipping station. Center that there as best you can. And now we can open the grid box. Top of our next one. Ever so slightly. Take our grid and place it on uh, the cartridge. If you are uh, um, for, make sure you can tell the, the directionality of your grid because you will want your cells cell side down for this. And it's important to get this as center as possible. These are a little less forgiving than the cryos clipping station. Um, so you have to be very conscious about getting that straight. I'm going to cool my clipping tool now. And there's no reason that you uh, can't use the, the cryos clipping station for this. Especially if you're clipping many grids um, to go on the fit. It can be a bit time saving. Make sure that the clipping tool is very cold because it is, has a lot of metal. And then place it over your grid and cartridge. Carefully keep it straight. Go down as far as you can go. Then press it down. You should hear some sort of clip. Depending on how new the clipping tool is, it'll be louder or quieter. And then if your grid doesn't look mangled, and you can barely see the, the outside of the ring, your grid should now be clipped. Okay, now we have our grids clipped and hanging out safely over there. Depending on your level of paranoia, and mine is high, you can cover up the holes in the stage that were useful for our clipping tool cooling uh, with a uh, covered razor blade and move the clipping station over this hole here. I find that redirects the bubbles and you have less chance of losing your grid. Uh, we're going to open the, the shield for the shuttle here 
and this reveals the two areas where our clip grids will go. Now, use uh, less fine tweezers to handle the grids now. Uh, first thing we want to do is make sure that these two clamps are open here. And to do that, this screw here needs to be um, tight. And just until it's snug, that's fully open. And while fully open is ideal for taking them out, it can make them be a bit hard to, to sit uh, in completely. So I'm just going to take them a few uh, rotations back from completely full. But still so that there's plenty of room to slip one in there. Next what I'm going to do is with the thick rim of the grid facing me, I'm going to grab my first grid and place it on the shield here. Now this is where you're going to want to make sure that you get its orientation um, the proper way for your system. Um, because this is now going to be critical that your lamella is going to be, or the direction of milling is now parallel with the shuttle, so keep that in mind when loading. And I'm going to take the grid now and place it into this clamp here. Sometimes I put it on this top and then slide it in that way. Okay, that's one. Now I'm going to grab the second one. Now this one has the clamp, uh, the, the thicker uh, rim facing away from me, so I want to flip that around first. I find that easier that I do that down here. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to grab that. Okay, and again, get it so that my milling direction is straight up like that. And grab this grid. And that one one's a bit crooked, so I'm just going to straighten that out. And you can either straighten it out from the bottom there, or from the top, wherever you need. Okay, and once our grids are in, I like to grab a second tweezers now, second pair of tweezers, and hold the, the shuttle steady while I loosen this screw to tighten the clamps. As I loosen this, the grids will be stuck in place. And you want to loosen this screw until it, it spins freely. And then you just want to turn it back until it no longer, to the point where it doesn't spin freely. So, to clarify a bit. So now it's, it's spinning quite freely. And I'm just going to tighten it just to the point where it no longer does that. And you can see now that our grids are immobile. So now we will close the, the shield. Now our shovel is free. And we're going to rotate it like this. Now this is important here. You want to make sure that the shuttle is able to slide up and down. Because when we grab it um, at the station, we won't have the opportunity to fix this, so make sure that the shuttle is able to just slide up and down with your tweezers here. And top off with liquid nitrogen. So now I've transported the cryo transfer box over here using these um, screws. Uh, they, they screw in um, to the, the holes here, make sure that you don't screw them tight, otherwise it'll get stuck. So just enough that the threads are in and that it's, it's able to support the, the transfer station. Now we will put it in to the, 
the well here, make sure to line up the, the green arrows that's on at 12 o'clock here and at the top of this. Take off the screws and make sure using math that this is down as far as it will go. Okay. Next, we'll add on the, the well cover. And just be careful, it has a little uh, insert that goes into the, the transfer box, and sometimes this doesn't line up correctly. So uh, you might just have to wiggle this, push the box forward a little bit when you're putting this whole apparatus in. Okay, now we're going to need to get our, our rod for attaching on to the shuttle. Make sure that you grease this up with uh, the provided um, oil here so that this is uh, easy to put into the, the prep stage and the, uh, the fib stage. Um, so we'll take this, line up this um, rod to this top wall here. And also it's good to check that the two um, ends here, these two um, nodules, that's what will hold the, the shuttle in place. Make sure that they line up with the, the wings on this, uh, the wing nut at the end here, um, and they should uh, and we'll now put this in, put this on top so that this is nice and flush. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is cool the rod on the side there. So now I've done now is I've inserted the rod into the liquid nitrogen next to the shuttle. And that takes about 10 seconds or so to cool. Okay. Now I'm going to take the rod and insert it into the bottom or the, the top visible part of the shuttle. And this is done where the, the holes and the this, this swing nut um, are parallel to the, the entry holes on, on the shuttle. Now this locks when it's turned 90 degrees, but if it's turned 90 degrees then the shuttle will not be able to escape from where it's sitting right now in the transfer box. So what we do is we turn it just about 30 degrees, just enough to um, lock it a little bit, and then we bring it up ever so slightly. Well, it's still in liquid nitrogen, but it's able to clear the, the sides of the, the well. And now, once it's in here, this is the, the last step before we work in vacuum, because the shuttle now needs to go up into this reservoir here under vacuum so that we don't um, expose it to the warm oxygen, the warm air. So what we'll do here is press this slush pump control. Now this will pump out this chamber and in about 30 seconds to a minute you'll have solid nitrogen here. So we want to wait just about 10-15 seconds and then we will pull this rod up into this uh, area here. Close this valve, cancel slush pump. Slush vent will allow you to remove this chamber here, and you'll place it immediately on this corn prep stage. Then press pump, and hold this um, transfer chamber flush. The, the light over here will indicate that it's pumping, and you can follow its progress over here. Also, cancel the slush vent for this chamber over here. Once it's reached a sufficiently high vacuum in here, it'll allow me to open this rod into the rest of the prep chamber. Okay, it failed this time. Sometimes it'll do that, so all you have to do is press pump again. While it's pumping, um, it is under, the, the shuttle should be in this vacuum area, so you want to keep this rod as, um, straight as you can so that the shuttle isn't touching the sides. Okay, this green light indicates that it's reached the proper vacuum and I can open this valve. Now, once I open this valve, this poorer vacuum meets this better vacuum and it has to equilibrate. So we want to give it a few seconds to do that before I open this valve here. And you can see the whole prep chamber valve is now back into the green. So I will open this valve here. Turn on the prep lamp and I will insert 
the shuttle onto the prep stage. Okay. So your, your shuttle is now relatively safe sitting on the prep stage. What we want to do next before uh, initiating a transfer and, putting, and taking it from the prep stage to the FIB is we want to remove the shield now. Otherwise we won't be able to mill anything. So we'll use this knife here to just take off the shield. Very straightforward. Okay. What we want to do now is go back over to the, the quorum system and press the transfer button. It'll tell you to open the chamber valve switch and this green light will go on over here. The same way that you open this valve over here, open this one, just a quick turn uh, clockwise and pull down. Okay, now you can take the rod and insert the shuttle all the way, keeping it, avoid hitting any of the obstacles on the walls going in, and insert it onto the fib stage. Okay, and once you have it in, you can check the nav cam. You can see here that we have the, the shuttle sitting in its loading position, and now the transfer rod I'm going to take that out very slowly so that I don't take the shuttle with it. And you can see the rod has retracted. I bring the rod all the way out. And it's a good idea to rest the rod on the only actively cool part of the transfer chamber, or the prep chamber, and that is where the, the shuttle slips. And you can just kind of wedge it in there. And then the last thing you have to do is close this transfer valve. And now you're ready to start milling. Okay, you've now made your beautiful lamella and it's time to take the grid out. We're going to start by hitting the transfer button and we will now open this, the last valve that we closed. Transfer valve. Clockwise and down. We will take the rod and insert it all the way to your sample, here the, the shuttle. Make sure that the holes line up with the holes on the shuttle. So keeping it like this, zero degrees. And once that's in, turn 90 degrees. And you can double check on the computer if the rod is in on the sample. And it's also a good idea then to just test it and make sure that when you pull the sample moves, so the shuttle moves as well as, as one. And then once you're confident you have it, you can pull the whole thing out all the way to the prep stage. And place it there. Once it's on the prep stage, again relatively safe, you can close the transfer valve and you can put the shield back Now we're ready to take it out. Make sure that you have uh, your transfer box ready with liquid nitrogen. I'm just going to pop this off a little bit. Because now this has to be one fluid step from taking this, the shuttle from the prep stage to the transfer box. We're going to turn our prep lamp back on. That goes off on a timer. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to retract the shuttle into its little home in the transfer vacuum here. We're going to close this valve, isolating the shuttle in this area, and then we're going to close this valve over here. Okay. Now with the shuttle protected, we're going to press and hold the vent button until we can remove this, bring it over to this well, and press slush pump. So we want to reintroduce a vacuum to this area before the shuttle passes through to liquid nitrogen. Again, about 10, 15 seconds to allow a vacuum to form, but not for the liquid nitrogen to 
Creeks. Okay, and once you have your sample in, you can cancel the slush pump, attract the arm, slush vent, Cancel slush vent. Bring the well cover off. The liquid nitrogen should be not bubbling at this point because of the slush pump. And you can then reattach these two screws. Transfer back over to the table to remove your grids. Once you have your uh, transfer box over here, you can rotate the shuttle. Make sure you have a, a grid box ready to accept the grids. Open the shield and tighten this screw, which will loosen the clamps. And while the nitrogen is swarming up, you only have a little bit of time before the bubbles come back. If you're lucky, you can do this transfer before it bubbles over again. At this point, it's probably easiest to grab the grids from the top. There you go. All done with your lamella, except for imaging.